Welcome on in, FG fam, to another episode of the Colorado Rockies franchise here on MLB The Show 22. And the Rockies, with 73 wins, are pushing towards the end of the season here, hoping that they can make a playoff run in year one of this franchise. This is extremely surprising. We'll see what can happen as we begin this episode with a game against the Arizona Diamondbacks here at home at Coors Field, the 66 and 70. Arizona Diamondbacks coming in to face our 77 and 66 Colorado Rockies. Antonio Sensatella will take the mound. He's one game below 500 on his record, but it's his ERA that's ballooned over the season. And this is part of the reason why. Giving up some early hits here, even though two outs on the board. Hopefully he can get out of it. Frankie Schwindel comes up, and McMahon boots it. He cannot make the play. Safe at first base, so two on for Seth Beer and Crone going to boot that one a little bit, but pick it up and touch first to get us through the top half of the inning. Luke Weaver is the one pitching for Arizona today, a 334 ERA, 7 and 8 record on his season, and a 130 whip, so rather mediocre for him as well. There is a hit right over to second base, taken care of quite easily to end the first inning. Corbin Carroll up at the plate here against Senzatella, and Corbin puts this one into right field. Hilliard dives. He can't make the play, and a two-out double for Corbin Carroll. He's going to round second and go to third and easily make it with a triple, never mind double. Here's Sergio Alcantara. He comes up, and Rosario boots it. Just awful defense all around here for Colorado to start this game off. That'll give up a run. Josh Rojas comes up, taps it. Crone makes the play, gets it over to Senzatella. Nice cover by Antonio there to get us through that inning. Randall Grichik up at the plate. He goes down swinging, and that is the end of the second inning. It's a 1-0 lead for Arizona. We go to the third. Schwindel up again, and McMahon can't make that play. That's a base hit. They're going to try to get two bags there from first to third, and they do. So runners on the corners here for Beer. Beer goes down swinging. Big strikeout for Senzatella in that spot. That will bring up David Peralta, and he hits one right up the middle. That's going to bring home another run. This one in the top of the third and a two-out RBI. Carson Kelly up at the plate, and he's going to get a walk on a slider that misses the plate. So bases are going to be bombed here for Corbin Carroll, who's already one for one on the day. This one is hit, and Crone can't make the play. That's going to score one. They're going to attempt to score two. Hilliard to the plate. Look like he might have got him, but it's called safe. So 4 nothing is the lead. This one barely tapped onto Senzatella. It will make the throw over to first and get us through this nightmare top of the third. But four runs come across. Ryan McMahon in the next inning will swing through. And that is the second out of the inning for Luke Weaver. In comes Elias Diaz, and he swings wildly. This one is going to have to get thrown onto first, and it will to end the third inning. Arizona up 4 nothing. Into the bottom of the fifth, Connor Joe hits one up the middle, and he can't beat it out. Through five innings here at Coors, Diamondbacks one hitting the Rockies. We'll be back. And we are back for the bottom half of the six. Elias Diaz comes up, and this time he ropes one into left center field. This one's going to go all the way to the wall, and Diaz will find himself at second base with a one-out double. So Ahmed Rosario comes up, and Rosario hits this one pretty high and pretty deep out to left field. It's going to get caught. Diaz going to attempt to tag. He's on his way to third, and he is in there. Safe on the tag up. Chris Bryant just needs to get a hit here, and he goes down looking. Never want to do that. We go to the top half of the seventh inning. Here's Swindell, who has been killing it. Frankie Swindell with another base hit. Now two outs, two on for Seth Beer. Sensatella still in this ballgame. Rosario on to second, and that will get us through seven pitching wise let's get up and see if we can get some hits against no ramirez he's hoping he could say no to our hitters today sam hilliard on a full count goes down swinging on a pitch that would have been strike three anyway so ramirez with a big strike there two outs full count for randall grinchik who goes down swinging as well the bats are just not live today 
Richard Rodriguez coming into the ball game. 27 to 32 on save opportunities this year, but this is not a save opportunity. He does have a 2.93 ERA though, so he's been pitching pretty well, and he continues it there, striking out Carson Kelly on the high inside fastball. Two gone in the top of the eighth, and trying to take down Corbin Carroll, but he'll get a base hit in between short and third. Two out single. Does it start a little bit of a rally? We'll see. Here's Alcantara up the plate. That's a strike. They're going to steal a free bag. And Alcantara is going to tap this one onto second. McMahon gets up there, and he can't barehand it. McMahon messes up. This one's thrown home. It's a horrible throw by McMahon. And safe at the plate. So a free run there. Crone can't glove it over at first. Should have easily made that play. And now two on, two out. With a 5-0 lead, Wilmer Defoe comes up, and he hits this one into center field. Grichik is under it, and he will make the play to get through the top half of the eighth inning. But one comes across that probably shouldn't have, and now Alex Reyes comes in in this next inning to try to give us an opportunity in the bottom half of the ninth. Here's Reyes, and there's a nice strikeout on the slider away. It tends to work against those righty hitters. Two away, full count, Seth Beer. This one's hit up into the air, into center field. Grichik underneath, and he's played solid defense today. One of the few Rockies who have. Go to the bottom half of the ninth. This is the last chance, and it's the harder the order. Chris Stavensky coming into the game here to try to close it out. 6.34 ERA hasn't exactly been great. 0 for 2 and save opportunities, but this isn't one of those. A 2-2 pitch, and he strikes out Rosario on the slider away. So the leadoff hitter goes down. Here comes Chris Bryan. He's 0 for 3 on the day, but you're either hot or you're due. And obviously he was due with a bomb out to left field. That's a solo shot. And it will make it a 5-1 ball game. Can the Rockies rally around that home run? We'll find out. Josh Bell, the next hitter, and a high fastball. This one is taken deep. It's a high slider, excuse me, and that's taken deep out to right field. Josh Bell with a big home run. Back-to-back -back bombs for the Colorado Rockies in the ninth, and now Arizona's had enough. They're going to bring in Keon Keela. He's 10 of 11 on save opportunities at 291 ERA. And this one is going to be grounded over to shortstop. And right away, there's the second out of the bottom of the ninth. One out away from taking this victory is Arizona. And Hilliard goes down, swinging the plate. He's upset at himself, but Arizona ends up with a big road win here against us. Luke Weaver, not only the player of the game, but he does pick up a win. Nine strikeouts and six in the third. Sensatella goes seven, eight hits, one strikeout, two walks and four earned runs, but he's able to go seven at least. Weaver goes to eight and eight on the season. Keela does pick up a save there. Bryant and Bell, of course, with the home runs, the only runs for us of the ball game, and then back-to-back -back home runs, no less. San Francisco is between Arizona and L.A., and we're going to take a look here at a critical situation. Austin Gomber, remember how horrible he was in last episode? Well, here he has a chance to go a complete game with a shutout, and that out is going to help him for sure. Up comes Austin Slater. This one's hit deep out to center field. Jonathan Daza in the game today, and he'll make the play out there in center on a 3-0 count. Now Mauricio Dubon is up at the plate, and he will go down swinging. Austin Gomber strikes out the final batter of the day, and he gets an absolute gem of a performance, a complete game, three hit, three strikeout, two walk shutout. You'll love to see it. He beats Logan Webb straight up, so that's cool to see. Isotopes finished the season 72 and 78, and the Yard Goats 66 and 72. Neither of those squads will make the minor league playoffs so we won't really pay attention to it. At least not for year number one, while none of your players are there. But we do have a San Francisco Giant game to take a look at here to kind of end the season. The Giants are 90 and 68, and they're a team that we're going to have to overtake if we really want to make the playoffs, and I don't think we're going to be able to, but we have a chance here to sweep them. So we're going to check it out. Carlos Martinez, 3-7 and seven on a year with a 7.57 ERA and a 181 whip. If there's anybody we can crack, it's got to be Carlos Martinez, right? 
Well, Chris Bryant strikes out, and he's thrown out at first to end the top half of the inning. We go to the bottom half. Austin Slater, the leadoff hitter up here against Kyle Freeland. He's going to take a walk. So a leadoff walk for Slater will bring up Mauricio Dubon, who gets a full count here and laces one over to Rosario, who's playing right field today. I, I don't know what's up with that kind of positioning. I didn't make the order. They did it. Here is Diaz, and behind the plate on this high fly ball, he's going to make the play. So two away with a runner on first base for Jock Peterson here, and Freeland going to give up the base hit. No, Hampson makes a nice little play, but a horrid throw. So possibly throwing error there. Here's Brandon Crawford. He hits this one over to McMahon, and it's over the glove. Now... They're going to attempt a score, and a horrible throw out there in right field from Rosario is going to allow a run to score. So San Francisco with a 1-0 lead. Here's Yastrzemski right back to Freeland over to Hampson to end the inning. But a run scores on some errors out there, some bad fielding, and Hilliard will get it right back with a swing out to right field and Levi's landing. That thing is gone out here at Oracle Park, and Hilliard hits his 31st home run of the season. That's a killer moon ball. Here comes Connor Joe, and Connor Joe going to go down on the slider away for the second out of the top of the second inning. Carlos Martinez pitching maybe a little bit better than advertised so far today. Gets Hampson as well on the slider outside. It's been his bread and butter thus far, and the Rockies and Giants are tied at one here at Oracle. We'll be right back. And we're back for Darren Ruff to lead off the bottom of the second inning. And McMahon dives, can't make the play. Rosario gets it out there in right field, and he's just been making bad throws all day. I, I didn't even realize till now that he was playing right field uh, this entire time that the game was being played. But two on. Nobody out for Robinson Chirinos or, you know, Miss Piggy. If you uh, if you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. There's Hilliard making the play out there for the first out of the inning. Austin Slater coming up now with two on. Over to Connor Joe trying to make this double play, and it is successful to end the second inning. Great play. Ahmed Rosario comes up and swings the slider outside, killing everybody today, but Rosario a couple times. Here's Chris Bryant. He's going to take a walk on an inside fastball, so Chris Bryant over at first base with Crone coming up to bat, and here he is, C.J. Crone, going to hit this one down to third base, not going to make the play, but will pick it up, and on bad throw will let Crone reach base anyway. Sam Hilliard, after hitting a homer, going to get a single out there to right to load the bases up. This is big, a big spot here for Connor Joe. He takes a walk, a run walked in by Carlos Martinez. And it is two to one Colorado with Garrett Hampson coming to the plate with nobody out. And Hampson down to third. They're gonna throw to the plate for one out, throw to first for the second out. What a brilliant double play by San Francisco. Does leave two runners in scoring position for Ryan McMahon, though. This one is dribbled on to second base and thrown on to first to end the top half of the fourth. So with bases loaded and nobody out, Colorado just gets one, and it's a walked-in run. No hits. Bryant misfields a play out in left. That is going to allow a very slow runner to reach second base. And that is going to give Austin Slater a chance here with runner in scoring position. And he hits this one over Hilliard's head. Hilliard giving some chase. He is not going to make the grab. And that is going to leave runners on the corners. No, he's going to try to take second, and he will. And now going to try to take home. With nine speed, my man is going to get home. It's going to tie the ball game. Here's Dubone now. Dribbled on to Connor Joe and thrown on to first for the second out of the inning. Still a runner in scoring position here up against Freeland. And here comes Wilmer Flores, and that's over to Hampson. Hampson will get it over to first and end the fifth inning. So we move forward to the top of the eighth where Chris Bryant with two gone hits this one over the left fielder's head off the wall, and Bryant is going to get to third as he's looking for it. Chris Bryant with a two-out triple. Can Crone do anything with it? No. Right back to the pitcher it goes and on to first to get through the top half of the eighth for Descalfini. 
And that is going to bring in Cole Solzer for us, who hasn't had the greatest year, but he was pitching for the Orioles for the longest time. And we traded for him near the deadline. Here's Austin Slater, and this one's grounded onto short, and a horrible throw is going to put Slater on second. Garrett Hampson just goes wild on that one. Here's Mauricio Dubon. He's going to take a walk. And that's going to put two on with nobody away for Wilmer Flores, who hits one deep out to center field. Hilliard gets under this one. He's going to make the play. And no tag-up attempt coming from San Francisco. Jock Peterson up, and he's going to go down on the four-seam fastball down low. That thing is gone. And now we have Brandon Crawford over to Connor Joe, thrown on to first, and the eighth inning is over. We're still tied at two. We got a wild ninth inning coming up. I can just feel it. We'll be right back to find the conclusion. And we are back in the top half of the ninth inning. Here's Sam Hilliard. He already has a home run today, but this time it is not going to happen as that one's a lazy fly ball out to center field for out number one. Garrett Hampson up at the plate on a 2-2 pitch in a 2-2 game, and he goes down swinging. So we go to the bottom half of the ninth inning. Mike Yastrzemski gets a leadoff base hit out into right field. And the... Giants are threatening with Darren Ruff hitting one right off the pitcher's leg. McMahon picks it up, but he won't make a play with it. And there is two on with nobody out, so Colorado's going to the pen. Alex Reyes coming in. He's got a 298 ERA on the year. He's been very good against righties. Let's see if that continues. Evan Longoria with a little bloop here. Rosario making the catch. What a run to make that play. And that's one away. Now with a full count, Tommy LaStella on to Hampson. Hampson with a chance to get it into extras, and he does. We are through nine innings. It wouldn't be an FG video without us getting into extras at least once. Here's a hit from McMahon, and that is going to bring Garrett Hampson home from second, and it will score us the third run of the ball game and the leading run. Ahmed Rosario with two away. He's going to dribble this one on a shortstop. And that is going to get us through the top half of the 10th, but we do bring that run home, and Mark Melanson is coming in to try to close it out. 38 out of 43 saves. Another one of our deadline pickups, and we'll see if he can help us get a win here. Crone, this one is easy for him to make. Lazy infield fly ball for out number one. And Melanson, with just five pitches here, has this one away, and McMahon on to first for out number two, but they do have the tying run 90 feet away. For Wilmer Flores, who's 0 for 4 on the day. Hampson could make it 0 for 5 and win us this ball game, and he does. Colorado Rockies win at Oracle 3-2. They sweep the San Francisco Giants, and Sam Hilliard gets player of the game. 3 for 4 with a solo shot in this one. Alex Reyes actually gets the dub for his one shutout inning pitched. McMahon, Hilliard, and Connor Joe with the RBIs. Freeland goes 7 Pretty strong innings, honestly. Only two runs given up for him. And then we look here to close the season out. We're going to look at a critical situation against the L.A. Dodgers. They're beating us 2-1. to one. In the top of the ninth, we've got a chance here to make a comeback. There's a walk. C.J. Crone going to put himself on with a leadoff walk, and that'll bring up Josh Bell with the big bat. He's 0 for 3 on the day, but this one's going into the gap, and this is going to have a chance here. We are going to get two runners in scoring position with nobody away, a chance to maybe take a lead. Here's Ryan McMahon, and he hits a base hit. That should bring home two runs. They're both going to try and score here. The throw to the plate is not in time, and the chance from Will Smith to make a tag was really, really close. Bruce Dodder, greater all coming into this game. And he's got a 303 ERA on the season. Connor Joe reaches for one he probably shouldn't. That's the first out of the top of the ninth. So greater all in two pitches, gets an out. Here's Elias Diaz. This one's laced out into right center field. Nobody's going to make this catch. That's going to go all the way to the wall. Maybe a chance here to put two more in scoring position. We're going to try to take this runner home, and it is in time. Let's go. Getting all the way to the plate, Elias Diaz with an RBI double. You love to see it. It's a 4-2 game. There's a strikeout of Hampson, so he will not be reaching base. Two away for Greater Raw. He's come in, try to really shut this door down, and this one's going up the middle, but a nice play out second base. And that'll get the Dodgers a chance here to come up and 
try to tie this ball game. We'll see if they can. Mark Belanson coming in to try to get his 40th save of the season. Would be big for him. Here's Max Muncy up at the plate. He's 0 for 3 on the day. But hey, like I said earlier in the episode, you're either hot or you do. And he gets himself a base hit. So he has a leadoff hit. Here's Justin Turner now. Turner hits this one high out to left field. This is a play that Chris Bryant can make, and he will make it. So one away in the bottom of the ninth with one on. A homer can tie it, but Bellinger gets under this one, and Hampson has a chance to make this play as well, and he will. Two gone in the bottom of the ninth. One out away from stealing a win against L.A. There's a laser in the left, and that's a base hit that's going to get down. So two on now. The winning run is at the plate. James Outman, and this one is dribbled onto first base. Crone will make the play, and Colorado comes away with a 4-2 road win in L.A. to pretty much end our season. That one is done. In the books, Mark Melanson, player of the game. The win goes to Cole Solzer. Melanson gets his 40th save of the year. Ryan McMahon goes two for two with two RBIs and two runs scored. He had a couple of walks as well. Elias Diaz with a big RBI double. We finish the season at 85 and 77, and it is not good enough to make the postseason, unfortunately. So looking at the playoffs, you can see the Giants beat the Padres in the NL wild card and the Astros over the Red Sox in the AL wild card. If you look at the next round of the playoffs, White Sox over the Mariners, Astros over the Rays. You had the Brewers over Philadelphia and the Dodgers over the Giants. So if you look at the CS, Astros win in five over the White Sox and the Dodgers go seven to beat the Brewers. So Astros Dodgers World Series, it ends up being pretty boring, even despite some of the more interesting teams making it in this postseason. And the Dodgers defeat the Astros. I believe it was in five games. So the Dodgers win that series 4-1, to one, and they win the 2022 World Series. No surprise there. We took this challenge with the expectation that we were going to have to get through L.A. We actually have a retirement due to injury. A torn ACL will make Will Etheridge retire from baseball, unfortunately, for him. So sad we lose a player there but you know it's not like he was going to be an, an amazing player Justin Verlander also going to retire Kurt Suzuki some other really good players on this list you can pause it or make the video go slow if you really want to see the rest of these retirements but usually for the first year there's nothing too incredible Scott Casimir is a player you would recognize a lot of guys that have really contributed to some teams here but Verlander may be the one that Probably should be a Hall of Famer, but nobody was inducted to the Hall of Fame this season. So don't have to worry about that. We only have three guys we have to worry about signing. I think the big thing this year is going to be these coaches. Do we keep Bud Black? Do we fire everybody? I don't know. We also only have three guys to worry about as far as free agency is concerned. Who do you think we should keep? Let me know in the comments section below. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Make sure you check out links in the description to the Discord and the Twitch channel. Come hang out with us outside of YouTube. We have a really, really fun time on both Discord and Twitch. Come through and hang out. And thank you to my channel members, Cas Cray Gaming, Rigoberto Ramirez, Raider Bear Comics, Christian Horn, Derek Vance, T Clank24, TNJ, Jeffrey Kendrick, David Morselander, and V-Dub Productions. Love you, FG fam, and I'll see you next time. Build you, build some hell.